good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. MyGreenGear.com is where you need to be. Brand new merch. Actually, I just came from the post office. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I got some new merch to show. It'll be on my live stream this afternoon, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as I always do, Monday through Saturday. Now, last time I did one of these When Savages Attack, it was a Los Angeles edition, and it was where a bunch of black and brown Thundercats decided to ransack and destroy a fucking 7-Eleven. It's went in there grabbing shit off the counter. They hopped behind the counter. And the employee who was working there smartly went somewhere and locked himself inside of the office. Because you can't be out there with them. You can't reason with them. They will only attack you. So they went in there, stole a bunch of shit, you know, blunt wraps and cigarettes and hot Cheetos and shit. You know, everything to make a young future of the future felon of America be healthy. So they did all that shit, they stole all the stuff and destroyed all the property. Well now, Philly said, what? You know how I say California will not be out stupid it did. Well, Philly decided we're gonna challenge that title. We want the belt. So the, ci the city of brotherly hate decided to take a swing at it. So these collection of young dummies, these little savage bastards decided to storm inside of a store in Philly, same thing as their LA counterparts. They were stealing shit and grabbing shit and destroying shit. And then there's some ghetto ass hood rat who I hope is not reproduced yet. But she was at the counter saying, um, are, are you guys gonna make a sandwich or are you just gonna keep filming? Cause apparently there's a sandwich counter there. And she thought the guy who was working at the place or owned the place, I don't know who he was, the guy filming, was gonna say, oh yeah, miss, hold on, let me, let me just ignore this destruction and theft and make your sandwich. But that's the mentality. That's the mentality, that's the hood culture. She saw nothing wrong. She's standing in the middle of a theft hurricane and saw nothing wrong with it. She's like, um, can I get my food? Now I respect her focus, but that's wrong, that's sad, that's disgusting, that's disparaging, that's dangerous for the rest of us. Where do you think they're gonna go? You don't think they're gonna fan out once they've destroyed all the businesses where they live, where they live and the business flips them the bird and says, we can't afford this anymore? Where do you think they're gonna go? Whose stores are they gonna ransack next? Sad, please, I'm still waiting from the last time, from the LA edition where I asked, show me the videotape of white youth doing this in a store in their neighborhood, or to make it easier, any neighborhood. Is there a group of white kids traveling and destroying businesses? No one showed me yet, so I will, I will recommit myself to this, please. If you can show me the video of a bunch of white kids doing this shit, I will make an apology video, I promise. But I don't think you can find it because their culture is not like this culture. Their culture is not like this ghetto trash culture that we have permeating our race. This shit is sad. You're forcing regular black folk to be PR reps for this shit. How do you think we feel when we're seeing this footage around people of other races? You know they're looking at you like, mm, mm, mm. Look at them. You can't give them nothing. They're like animals. This looks like a bunch of, where is that? Uh, is it in India or something where they got them aggressive ass monkeys that just be snatching people shit out of people's hands, grabbing their babies, groping women? That's what they look like. All they had to do was add a bunch of monkey sounds and you wouldn't know whether you were looking at those monkeys or a bunch of savage black youth in America. Yeah, I fucking said it because I don't see any other race doing this shit. No other race can because they don't have these poisonous minds that we have. That it's not our fault, it's okay, it's the white man, it's someone else, it's not me. That's how you treat children. It's not their fault, it's not because they're children, they're not in charge, they're not in control. That's what they're acting like. This is a group of those teenagers you would see on a talk show who tell their mom, fuck you, and they steal. And what do those kids have in common? 
Huh? What do nine out of those kids have? Nine out of ten kids like that, what do they have in common? No daddy in the house. There must have been 50, 75 of these little bastards. I bet you couldn't find three daddies among them. I bet you couldn't find a nuclear family among all of them. I bet you all of them were raised by the Nims. Who are the Nims? Grandmama Nim, Auntie and Nim. I guarantee it. Because kids from stable homes with nuclear families don't behave this way. Now, are they... Uh, are they bulletproof when it comes to doing stupid shit when you get together with your friends? Of course not. I did a bunch of stupid shit with my friends. Do you realize how low a young male's IQ gets when he's around other males? Yes, you still do dumb shit, but you don't do shit like this because there's a fear of consequence. And that first consequence you have to fear is your dad. I had that. That kept me from doing a lot of dumb shit. You ever see that movie Pootie Tang with Chris Rock where he was about to steal an apple and out of nowhere his dad's hand appeared and hit him with the belt. Every time he tried to do something dumb, his dad's arm would appear and hit him with the belt and keep him from doing stupid shit. Well, these kids don't have that. These punks, these mongrels, they don't have that. Nobody tells him shit. They don't have to be home at a certain time. They don't have to eat a certain way. They don't have to dress a certain way. They don't have to go to school. And if they do, they can act an ass. And when they do and get in trouble, who's going to come up there ready to kick the teacher's ass for picking on my baby? I'm so tired of seeing this shit. I'm so tired of defending the lower rungs of my race. Like my dad would tell me, son, they may be your color, but they ain't your kind. And this is a perfect example. Who can be okay with this? How many of them think, how many of them do you think took that shit home and shared it with their mama? Who, what'd you get? Oh, I want that one. Like it's Halloween candy. When we were kids and we go trick or treat and we come back, my mom would have us dump our candy out. Of course, she was looking for stuff that was open and you know, all that parental kind of shit. But what she was really looking for was sweet tarts. My mom loved sweet tarts. So you best believe you will be taxed with at least three packs of sweet tarts. And that's how their mamas are acting. Ooh, what you got? Some uh, great flavor blunt wraps? You didn't get no yak? You didn't grab no yak? Those are the homes that these fools come from. These future inmate ID numbers come from. And what do you expect people, people to think? What do you expect non-black folk to think about black folk when these are the images they're always seeing? theft, crime, knocking people out, shooting each other, fighting, weaves all over the fucking ground when it's done looking like tumbleweeds. Tumbleweeds. How do you expect people to think? How do you expect them to treat us and look at us? You expect them to welcome us into their societies and their clubs and these little esoteric groups of theirs? Why would they? Based on the information they've, they've given, they've been given, they can't. They would be fools to invite such chaos into their lives. You ain't gonna date my daughter, not after seeing that. Can you blame them? I just hope when white folks get sick of this shit, and people always do, once somebody gets sick of something, they're gonna do something about it. I just hope when white folks finally get sick of this shit, finally get sick of being called racist and misogynist and all this bullshit and excusing all this ab abhorrent behavior, I hope that they realize that there are two sets of folks with skin color like mine. There are black folks and there are niggas. And I hope they make the distinction and don't come after us. Yes, I can say that word because apparently you can't say, well, you know, the Q word and the F word, but it's okay to say nigga all day long. But I hope when the shit hits the fan, they realize that there are two distinct groups. All right. How many more videos do we need to see? How many more videos need to come out like this before these fucking DAs do something about it? With all the technology and traffic cams and shit, you can find every single one of these little fuckers. Match them up to their social media page 
Well, I'm sure they're going to brag about it. You can have this shit wrapped up in a week, but they won't. Because, well, you know what they don't want to be called. Some bullshit. Who's going to suffer? You know how the saying goes, when two elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. And we're the grass. Any damn way. Let me get in here, try on my new merch, and get on my live stream. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the Linktree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net and MyGreenGear.com. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.